Uh, next, I'd like to cover something I call the flip property. This is not actually a property in your book for exponents, uh, but I've, I've found it over the years to be very useful. And so I'd like to add it in as a property that you can use when you're simplifying algebraic expressions. Uh, remember, properties always work, and that's the great thing about them. If you know the properties, you can apply them. You know it's going to get you a result that's correct, or at least not something that's incorrect. Um, there is no property at this point called the flip property. So if we're going to actually use something like that, we need to uh, prove that it works. So I, I'm going to start with an expression uh, like this. Let's say we have um, some base uh, x, I'll call it, raised to a, a negative uh, power, x to negative n. By definition, we know that this is 1 over x to the n. Um, another way to write this expression, if we want to write it as a fraction, would be like that, where this would be the numerator. It's understood that's the numerator over 1. Uh, but the flip property, what it uh, would allow you to do is take an expression that's a negative exponent flip it to the other side, so in this case it's in the numerator, flip it to the denominator with the positive exponents. You can take uh, some, some uh, term that's raised to a negative power, flip it down, in this case the denominator, and write with the positive exponent. So that, that shows that the flip property, you can use it if you have something in the numerator with a negative exponent, flip it down the denominator. Um, you can also go the other way. So if you have, for example, let's take this, and again, I'm going to prove it in general, um, some x raises some negative power in the denominator, you can actually flip that to the numerator with a positive exponent. But let, let's prove that that's the case. Using the definition, I could write this as 1 over, and then take this and write it according to the definition. That's 1 over x to the n power. Okay, what we have here is uh, something called a complex fraction, and we will spend quite a bit of time with these later. But uh, a method to clear uh, or simplify these complex fractions is to uh, multiply by uh, denominators or common factors. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator by x to the nth power and the denominator by x to the nth power. And let me rewrite this down here. I have 1 over 1 over x to the n and I multiply it by x to the n over x to the n. Okay, and in essence I'm just multiplying what, what is 1. x to the n over x to the n is equal to 1. If I multiply that in the numerator, 1 times x to the n, I get x to the n power. If you multiply in the denominator, I get 1 over the x to the n times x to the n. Remember, this, this I could rewrite as x to the n over 1. If I multiply these two fractions, I'm going to get x to the n and then multiply the denominators over x to the n. Okay, so what I have is this in the numerator, this in the denominator. x to the n over x to the n is just equal to 1, so I get x to the n over 1. Um, so what I've shown is that you can take this expression with a negative exponent, flip it up to the numerator, uh, and rewrite it with a positive exponent. That's the uh, flip, what I call the flip property. <coughs> 